Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty channel, bitch. Sorry, that was a little bit aggressive. Today's video is gonna be a hot mess, to say the least. As with most first impressions, like honest first impressions in real life, you can change your mind on things. You can like something one second, hate it the next. So that's usually how my first impression videos go. So I hope you don't get frustrated with me. But today, I am going to be trying out Flesh Beauty. Now, Flesh Beauty is a new brand that is now being sold in select Ulta stores. So it's brand new, I just heard about it. And I was honestly intrigued by this brand just because, I mean, the names are inappropriate on purpose, which, you know, I like, but more than anything, it just seemed like this weird concept of like, I don't know, tiny little foundations, and it just it just caught my eye, to be honest. So today, I am basically just gonna be giving you my honest first impression as I use these products on my face. This is the look I got with the products. I am also going to be swatching all these products as I usually do when I'm introducing something new to you guys, because I feel like that's helpful when you're deciding whether or not you wanna buy something. I actually just saw a video where someone really liked all these products, and so I was excited to do my review, and honestly, I don't know what they were talking about. I don't want to spoil anything. You'll see in a little bit, but um, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Okay, so now that you're uncomfortably close, let's get started. I always start off with my eyes, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna prime, like always, with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, and I'm not gonna lie, I did swatch the eyeshadows, not all of them, but some of them I did, and honestly, um, I was not impressed. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it is first impressions as well. So I'm telling you guys my first impression, which was just like, well, what the fuck is this? So these are the colors that we're working with. And if you ask me, this is like basic as fuck. Other than this pink, which is so random, it's just like earthy neutral tones, which everybody fucking has, like from every palette ever. There is no matte cream shade. This is a shimmery shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my primer potion with translucent powder just to make this fair. Okay, so really quickly before I get into it, I do wanna talk a little bit about this packaging. It's really fucking bulky for what it is. The eyeshadows are actually a good size. It does come with a mirror, which is good, but it is very very loose and floppy and just kind of like flips back. So I feel like if you want to prop it up somewhere, put it on top of something, you're gonna have to put it against like a wall as well to keep it up. It does come with a brush, which is always a plus for an eyeshadow palette, um, except for this one, because this sucks. This brush is some kind of atrocious. It's honestly like, whose idea was it to put this in here? It is like a tiny, synthetic, shitty lip brush. Whose idea was that? Where's Stacy? Cause she needs to get fired. No, really though, that's it's it's atrocious. I'm throwing this away right now. Such a waste of products or whatever it took to make that. It's a fucking waste. It's a waste of room down here. You could have cut this space off, made the palette smaller. It's a joke, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the only shade I can for a transition, and it's this shade right here. They don't have any names, I believe. Oh, they do. This one is called Touch. Let's see how it works and if it blends out well. Putting it in my crease, it definitely. Okay. It definitely is going on a little bit patchy. I mean, the pigment is obviously showing up, so that's something. You guys know I hate cool tones, but there's nothing worse than a cool tone that doesn't blend. And honestly, that does actually happen often. I find that cool tone colors are harder to blend than warm tone colors. I have no idea if it's something like in the pigment that makes it more easy to blend, but the point is this looks like shit. It's not my favorite, but we're gonna keep going. I honestly have been here blending for 85 years, so I'm gonna assume this is the best we're gonna get for right now. So I'm just gonna go into this brown. I'm definitely not gonna go into the black because I'm not looking to do a crazy look right now or ever honestly <laughs> let's see how this works okay so it is actually pretty pigmented but oh my god this is so patchy honestly I'm gonna keep working it in because obviously some eyeshadows can be patchy but then you blend it in a little bit you got to put in the work and then it'll look cute let's see if we can get here with this because this looks so I had to go Michael Jackson on you. It's not just because of the tones, because yes, of course, like I said a million times, I do not like cool tones, but this just looks so patchy. It literally looks like I just broke up a fucking Oreo cookie and like fucking blended it on my eye. What the fuck? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those Real Her palettes that I used in my Full Face of Products I Dislike video, the ones that we get in BoxyCharm, the ones that pretty much everyone fucking hates. This reminds me so much of those palettes. This, no matter how much I work this color in, pick up some of my transition shade, it's just not happening for me. I feel like I could literally be here for 85 years and this would still suck so we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to move on that's the worst part of makeup when you like just feel like 
I need to give up now. Like this, this is not gonna work. And you know what's crazy? This eye is always my good eye. If this eye gets patchy for some reason, this eye never gets patchy. So this being super fucking patchy on this eye, it's not a good look, blush. I'm getting like genuinely upset. <laughs> I am going to dip into this bronzy shade right here. It's kind of like a champagne-y, peachy color, which you guys know I love. And... Honestly, it's okay. It's not horrible. It's not the worst eyeshadow I've ever used, but is it special? No, not at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swatch these products for you so you can get a full feel of this palette. I personally do not find anything special about this palette. I think they threw the pink in there to try to be like, oh, you see, we put something crazy in here. <laughs> but to be honest, it's boring, it's been done, and I would never, ever use this palette ever again. I feel like they just put out an eyeshadow palette to put it out. They were like, you know what? We have all these other things. Let's just, let's just fucking put this in there too. Because it doesn't feel like there was a whole lot of thought that went into this, and I don't wanna like completely trash them I know I kind of am but like this just seems like an afterthought to me and at the very least if they wanted to go with these colors they could have made a really intense amazing velvety matte and fucking metallic ass shimmers but that's not what this is this is not only just a neutral palette it's just like a black palette you know okay but I've spoken up on that so to be honest I could have done a more elaborate eyeshadow look but I did not want to waste my time using that eyeshadow palette for longer than I had to because I just did not enjoy it. But I hope from the swatches you guys can make your own opinion as always. Okay, so let's move on. Next, this... Oh my god, I, I honestly, I can't with this. This is the Flesh... What is it called? <laughs> I have to look online. This is the Fresh Flesh Illuminating Primer. And let's not, let's not lie to each other here, guys. This looks like semen. <laughs> this is so weird looking to me. This literally, they had to have done this on purpose because obviously a bunch of their names and stuff are kind of risque and they're trying to brand themselves with those names. So obviously they did this on purpose. This cannot be a coincidence. You guys, I'm sorry, come on. Please do not screenshot this, please. It smells like hairspray or like shampoo or something. It does not smell like any beauty product I've ever smelled. I really actually enjoy the smell. I'm gonna stop holding my hand up now because this is just ridiculous. I love illuminating primers, so I'm excited to see how this looks. Right off the bat, it's a really thin formula. It feels like I am rubbing my face with aloe vera. <laughs> not my favorite texture right now, but let's see if it illuminates me. Oh. Oh honey, oh honey no. Am I mistaken? Okay, I had to put it on both the back of my hands to make sure that I didn't have anything on my fingers from like applying the eyeshadow. I did not apply eyeshadow with this hand as you guys know and I rubbed it into the back of my hand and there are little specks of glitter, bitch. Is it not like a universal no-no that you don't put fucking glitter in your illuminating shit? Cover FX did that with their setting spray. Like glitter does not equal illuminating. Like this literally moisturized my face but really just made it feel kind of greasy to be honest. And then put little specks of glitter everywhere. I'm literally pissed. Honestly, this brand is really disappointing me so far, and I did not go into this with any sort of bias at all, so this is just like, this is just pissing me off. Next, I'm gonna go in with the foundation, and I have a few shades here, so I need to find which shade works for me, but first, can we talk about how fucking small these are? $18, and there's like nothing in here. I'm gonna roll one like all the way up so you can see. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Especially because I believe this is marketed as a full coverage foundation, and if you want full coverage with so little product, I mean, you're gonna have to be buying this shit like every week. This is the Firm Flesh Thick Stick Foundation. The attempt at doing the like risque names to me, it just sounds weird. All it makes me think of is a fleshlight. If you don't know what a fleshlight is, Google it. <laughs> They're not even like that risque. You know how NARS does orgasm. This just is kind of like stupid, like thick stick foundation. Like, oh, you're talking about a dick? Okay. Anyway, let's try it out. I am not sure if this is my... No, that is not my shade. I think this might be closer to my shade. Now, I love my Makeup Forever HD foundation stick, so I actually use a stick foundation every single day, especially in the heat. I feel like the Makeup Forever HD foundation is so good, and this is normally the amount that I put on of that, so it should work the same. And I'm just gonna blend this in as best as I possibly can. Well, right off the bat, definitely doesn't blend as well as my Makeup Forever one does. It kind of like tugs your skin a lot. It's not super creamy. So already I know I would not wear this outside in the heat because I can already see this melting. Like it just is to my face. You know what I mean? When you use like a heavy cream product. But that being said, this doesn't even have good coverage. Do you guys see my pimples? All of my redness on my cheeks. I mean, 
everything is still there. All right, so I mean, I blended it how I would blend my cream foundation every day, and it is just, I don't even know how this is possible. It's cakey, but it doesn't have coverage. It has at most medium coverage on its first application. You can see all of my freckles. You can see my redness here on this pimple that I have, which is pretty much the only blemish that I have other than these scars up here, which are also showing. There is literally no coverage, and this is a shame because they fucking killed it with the shade range. They have 40 shades in this launch. It looks to me how my skin normally looks after I've powdered. Okay, this is like freaking me out. I have no idea what I think of this. And also, may I add, um, the glitter from the primer is showing through, so. That's good. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender and I'm gonna put on my concealer and then I'll be right back. All right, per usual, I got carried away again. I did what I usually do, which is put on all the products that are not part of this collection just so I can get those out of the way. But I did finish my eye look, which I should have just done it on camera. Don't know why I did that. I, I really did get carried away. And I also put the light shimmery shade that's in the palette in my inner corners. I have a powder highlighter from this collection. It's called Boost and I swear to you that I did not drop this and even if I did I have carpet but it is broken it didn't come broken it was not broken like 30 minutes ago and now it's broken I didn't hit it on anything I didn't I don't know I really do not know what happened I don't know if it's just like a really soft formula I am going to go in with the fan brush I finally got back from Kathleen's house so the highlighter is actually not bad it is pretty subtle but this actually does give a really really pretty glow from within type of look and it's not chunky or glittery I actually really like this so Thank God. <laughs> I hate that it's broken, but I mean, I feel like I'm still gonna use it because I really like this. So I do have a few of these Swipe Flesh lip colors and these are $24 each. So I have a few shades. I don't actually think I'm gonna use these, but I will swatch these for you. And it's pretty interesting because it has a Oh shit, what the fuck? I didn't realize that some of these are blushes and then some of them are lip colors and they look exactly the same. Like they have the same fingerprint imprint, which to me is really um, almost annoying. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go in because I actually put really light blush on today. So I'm gonna go in with this coral color called Hug. I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> I find that really dumb that they put the same exact packaging. If you have this in your collection, nothing about the back, nothing about the front. Like you can't differentiate these. So that to me is like super inconvenient. It's just like, how the fuck can I tell the difference? I am actually not gonna be using any of these lip colors. I will swatch everything for you guys at the end. I hate that it doesn't say what product it is. You have to literally go on the website. This is the Strong Flesh Lipstick. These retail for $18 a piece. Um, not really my color, but the formula on this is really, really nice. It's really pigmented, super creamy. This packaging for this specific lipstick, look at this. It's a fucking magnet. I fucking love that. That being said, <laughs> this packaging for this lipstick is so annoying and I will say right away that this has a way more sheer lip glossy type of vibe I guess it's because these are called the fleshy lips lipstick lastly I'm gonna try probably to me the weirdest product in this whole situation this is the fleshy oh finally it says what it is on the back the flesh pot eye and cheek gloss so this is like a super jelly like weird texture a ton of glitter inside iridescent fucking I don't even know what other words I can use to describe this Okay, so right away this is a fucking fail because I did not, I don't know, I mean I read it but I didn't understand that it said eye and cheek gloss. So I'm actually about to use it on my lips. But as soon as you see it on my lips, I mean you tell me how the fuck, like how in the actual fuck I can use this on my cheeks. Because what? No. No thank you. This intrigues me a lot, but it also weirds me out. Like, here's the thing, I don't want to fucking be dipping my finger into something super sticky every day. But let's give it a try anyway. Oh, there's a hair in here. Delicious. Ooh. Oh, it is very thin. I just lightly dipped my finger in there and it has a lot of product and I had to put some back. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh god. It's not sticky at all. Like I said, it's a really, really thin texture. It just feels like a lot. When I was putting it on, I saw those little sparklies. It looked beautiful, but the second I smacked my lips together and actually spread around the product as it's going to spread around anyway naturally on your lips, it just went to like a clear gloss situation. It does not show up sparkly at all. The color is not altered at all. And honestly, that's a shame. I just expected more from it and it was kind of like a little bit whack. Anyway, that's it for the makeup look. Okay. So let's just like get to a consensus because this video was a bit of a fucking mess. Now, do I believe that anything in this launch is worth the money? 
That's really hard to say. If I had to pay for these products, I would have been fucking pissed. Straight the fuck up. These lipsticks were honestly really nice. The powder highlight was beautiful. Honestly, my favorite thing of everything was the powder highlight. That being said, will I pay $28 for the highlight? No. <laughs> Drugstore makeup, even companies like ColourPop, even Morphe. I mean, the game has been stepped up so much for lower end makeup that I cannot justify these prices for this performance. Like, yes, this highlighter, I love it. I'm gonna continue to use it even though it's broken as fuck. Okay, I'm looking online right now and Ofra highlighters are $16. To me, Ofra makes some of the best fucking highlighters on the market and how are you going to be $10 more than that? And still not be like a high-end brand. This isn't fucking Hourglass. This this isn't fucking Marc Jacobs, like you're just, you're, you're flesh. <laughs> it's rubbing me the wrong way and I don't believe that I will ever buy anything else from this brand. That being said, I am happy I have some of the products because I will get use out of them. The primer was another level of atrocious. Um, it did nothing for my skin. That being said, I do not mind how my face looks right now. I thought it was really cakey when I was applying it, but now I'm looking in the mirror and it's not cakey anymore, which is weird because it really did look cakey. It looked like it was going to settle into all my lines. But overall, you you know the foundation is okay and I would say because they do have an amazing shade range at least go to Ulta try it out on your hands see if it's something you'd like this is not a bad foundation I cannot look in the camera and be like this shit fucking sucks because it doesn't is it the best foundation I've ever used no it doesn't have the best coverage but if you don't need all that coverage or if you're okay with doing what I did which is basically just going over everything with some concealer then this could work for you it's just really underwhelming the amount that they put in here you're literally gonna have to go to Ulta like every other day but the shade range is amazing so I can't even knock it that much and this little lip gloss thing honestly you are too expensive for what you are bye bitch Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you're gonna be trying this brand or not. Hopefully the swatches were helpful and you can like draw your own conclusions from that because at the end of the day, that's all that fucking matters. How does a product swatch? Do the colors make sense for me? Is it something I'm gonna use? Those are all important things for deciding if you're gonna buy something. And that's all I ever wanna do for you guys is just inform you as best I can on my opinion, but also show you the product so that you can make your own decision because it's your money, boo-boo, and money doesn't fucking grow on trees and you need to spend it wisely. And there's already too much shit that we wanna buy. So we gotta like narrow it down sometimes. Do you seriously think you're the only person who fills up their cart on Sephora and looks at it? and cries. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put up videos pretty much all the time now. Look at me, bitch. And I will see you next time. Bye!